What's going on guys? T-Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto Online. Can you guys believe it? We have been talking about bringing this series back for quite some time now and we are finally making it happen. I figured today would be as good of a day as any because we have a huge new DLC in GTA Online today. This is actually one of the, the biggest additions they've done since they released it, which is, uh, is pretty exciting. So, it's called Further Adventures in Finance and Felony, I believe. And uh, the main thing that they did is, is they kind of built on the VIP system that we saw with the yacht update. And basically, there are new office buildings you can buy to become a CEO, and then you can hire associates, which are other players, to help you do missions to smuggle drugs and other, you know, illicit content and stuff like that. And uh, make a lot of money. It comes with like, you know, customizable offices. You can, you know, hire assistants and all kinds of stuff like that. It's going to be really, really cool. So we're going to be checking that out for sure. There are also a bunch of new cars in this game, which I can't wait to check out. That's actually what we're going to be doing today. Uh, there are new planes and boats and updates to the, you know, some of the weapon attachments and new adversary modes and just all kinds of stuff. I, just, I figured this is like a brand new playground for us to relaunch this series and uh, kind of get back into it. I really want to get heavy back into it, all the custom racing, all that kind of stuff. So it's going to be fun. Now, in this episode right now, this video you guys are watching, we are going to be checking out all the new cars that are available for purchase with this update, which is a, a pretty significant amount. I actually can't wait. So uh, we're going to start off with Legendary Motorsport here. And you guys can see, this is the one I've been the most excited for. The Pegasi Reaper. So this is essentially a Lamborghini Huracan. And you guys can see statistically, use of the accelerator in a Pegasi Reaper is more likely to cause a fetal brain hemorrhage than any other activity known to medical science. Holy cow, that sounds so awesome. So what we're going to do is, uh, since it's modeled after a Lambo, I say we go with a Lambo yellow. And uh, we're going to go ahead and send that to this apartment right here. You guys can see that uh, I, I was moving around. You know some cars around and stuff like that and I kind of opened up some space here in this garage This is the only one that we had pre-existing and uh, everything else is gonna be new So we can kind of see all the new cars all in one place now Let's check out some of the other stuff that they have in terms of vehicles I'm gonna do another video today right after this one checking out like the new boats and planes and stuff But uh, they also have the vapid FMJ here uh, as the rate of infant heart disease suggests power to weight ratio has never been America's strong suit until now Holy cow. All right. I think this one Oh man, I don't know. It looks good in yellow. I bet it would look good in green. Of course it'd look good in black. Like you can't not get, look good in black. So I think we're going to go with green. We'll send that to Ulta. Um, let's see what else we have here. Uh, there's a brand new Grotti Bestia GTS. Turns out you can have it all. Power with class, innovation, and pedigree. Looks with per personality. All right, we'll do this one. I'm going to say, let's go ahead and ooh, white would be classy with this one. Let's just go ahead and take white on that one. We'll send it to Alta. Um, I'm going to go back here. What else do we have? Ooh, finance and the Benefactor XLS. Select from available colors and versions. To oh, you can order an armored one? Yes. Let's order a navy armored one, bro. Or is that black? I can't tell if that's supposed to be navy or black. And uh, finally here, it looks like our last option is going to be the Enos Windsor Drop. Ooh, this thing looks like a Rolls Royce. So like a, a drop head, you know what I mean? Sweet. It is a drop head. It's convertible. So uh, I say we have to go with something classy here. The black or the white on the rolls. I'm going to say let's, let's go with black. So we'll go ahead and roll with that. That looks good to me. We'll send it to Ulta. And that's all we're going to have for Legendary Motorsport. But there are other options here. I think Warstock Cash and Carry has something new. Ooh, yeah, look at that. The Brigade, $1.1 million. That thing is a tank. That is awesome. We aren't going to buy that yet. We'll check that out in the next episode with some of the other special vehicles. We are going to move on to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And we're going to see what's in it here. So it looks like we have a Bravado Rumpo Custom. As a part of this DLC, it's 130k. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that blacked out. A lot of these vehicles are meant to, you know, kind of like help you carry out these missions. I feel like if you're smuggling drugs and weapons and stuff, you want something that's blacked out and looks badass. Um, that's not a part of it. Ooh, heists, festive. Yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing, not seeing anything else there. Um, is there anything else in terms of travel and transport? Uh, Benny's wouldn't have anything. Uh, pedal to the metal. I don't think they're gonna be any special cycles. Nope <laughs> So uh, I think that's gonna do it guys. unless there's maybe there's a different like class of vehicle in here that they've added in I'm looking I'm looking I'm looking 
I think for like the normal street legal cars, that's gonna do it for us. Yeah, that looks to be uh, that looks to be about it. All right, cool. So we've got all those cars coming into our garage. What we're gonna do is we oh, oh whoa whoa they're already showing up. Nice. Take a look at that. We got the drop head right here, boys. We've got oh my gosh the Bugatti Reaper. We're gonna save that one for last for sure. This thing looks sick as well. And uh, ooh, what is what is this? Do we buy this? Oh, that's what this was, the Grotty Bestia GTS. I didn't even realize that it was like a, kind of like a hatchback. That's kind of cool, that's a good looking car. It's something something a little bit new. It actually, it kind of looks like a Ferrari F12 almost. Not quite as aggressive. It kind of looks more like an FF, a Ferrari FF. It's not, it's pretty close, I don't know. The FF and the F12 are pretty close, but uh, I, I think it might be an FF. It's still badass regardless though. I say we take a look at this thing first. We're gonna go top to bottom and uh, check out like the, the biggest, bulkiest, not cool stuff first. And uh, then we're gonna work down to our sports cars. All right, so this thing is an absolute tank, bro. This would be good out in, in Trevor Phillips area. You know what I mean? Out in the desert. It's got those nice off-roading tires. Ooh, I can see some like red shocks and stuff down there. It's got some aftermarket shocks. They're gonna be able to go over bumps and people and... <laughs> Other, other small animals pretty easily, I guess. I don't know, it's kind of cool. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take each one of these cars over to Los Santos Customs and uh, see if we can trick them out a little bit. I don't know, there might not be too much customization available on this thing, I feel like it's already kind of tricked out, but we'll find out what happens. This thing is kind of cool, I just, I can't wait. Whatever the, the like, Warstock cash and carry vehicle that we saw, whatever that one was, the 1.1 million, I can't wait to check that thing out. All right, Bravado Rumpo Custom. <laughs> it's kind of a funny name. Okay, cool, so you can do full armor and everything to it. I honestly don't think that we're really gonna use this thing that much, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put some, I don't, I'm not gonna put like armor and everything on it, but I am gonna put a transmission and a turbo on it, just to make it a little bit quicker. I guess we could limo out the wind. Okay, what up? Let's let's just do it. Whatever, dude. I don't really want to lower it. I want it to be as high as possible. I'm gonna put the neon kit on there. Neon or no, we don't want neons. Uh, explosives engine. Let's upgrade that engine. Let's upgrade the brakes. Dude, this thing's gonna be a tank. Let's go. Whoa, that actually made a pretty big difference. Dude, this thing just <laughs> F that light pole. Let's go, boys. This is awesome, right? So we're gonna head back to Alta. This one is uh, it's decent, you know what I mean? Like it's it's not the most exciting vehicle in the world, but uh, it's uh it's a good start to the episode. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back and uh, let's go hop in the um let's go hop in something else. So I say we hop in this bad boy, see how she performs. So this thing we paid a lot of money. It's the Benefactor XLS armored and it was like an extra like two or three hundred K to get this thing armored out so it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a bit of a tank it's kind of like that um, the the Lancer that you can get that's all armored out it's probably not gonna be the fastest thing in the world but uh, if you're out there you know doing your work selling that dope it's gonna keep you protected from them drive-bys baby it's got the atomic atomic wheels on it already and everything man so these things already come all customed out which is nice but uh, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if there's anything else. We can do. I, just, I like giving you guys kind of a taste of what you can do in the, the you know different performances of the cars and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested in buying stuff, you can kind of kind of see it and try it before you buy it in a sense. So we're gonna see what happens here. Los Santos Customs back again, ready to blow some more moolah. Let's go, boys. All right, so we're gonna repair this thing up. And, uh, oh wow, it's already got 80% armor on it, but you can just buy 100% armor. It does have that really cool look to it. Though. I like that though, it almost looks like a, a bulletproof vest on the side of your car. So we're gonna upgrade this thing all the way. Y'all know we gotta have it, gotta have it. Let's put that, let's put the competition suspension on it for sure. Put that race transmission, the turbo tuning. I think the wheels look pretty good. I think we're just gonna leave it like that. Let's check this thing out, see how she, how she changed. I mean, this is a good looking car. It's just, it's a blacked out SUV. It's gonna get the job done, you know what I mean? 
It's very heavy though, it doesn't turn very easily. And uh, it's not gonna be that great performance wise, but if people are trying to shoot you up, you're gonna be good to go. All right, cool. So we got this, uh, let's go ahead and head back and um, let's check out that, uh, there are four left. Let's check out the drop head, that like convertible uh, Rolls Royce. This thing's gonna be baller. So in terms of return on investment, I think this is a pretty poor purchase. I don't really see myself using this that much. It's big, it's heavy, it's not gonna be the most nimble racing car, it's not armored, you're not really gonna be able to do much in this thing, but you will look a fly, bro. Look at this thing, take a look on the inside. All the wood grain and everything else, even on the back, the back like behind the seats where the speakers would go, it's all wood grain, which is really, really cool. Hell yeah, dude, this is awesome. Alright, so if we, how do we, how do we put that, there we go. Woo-wee! Go ahead and fold that thing on in there. Oh my god, that was glorious. The wood paneling just pops back up. This is, dude, this is a, a baller's car, you know what I mean? This is an old school gangster. When you've retired from being the CEO of a, a huge criminal enterprise, this is what you roll around those Santos with. I think we're gonna switch up the color. I think we have to go with a light color. I think we've gotta go with like a white, cream, you know what I mean? Maybe get some, uh, I don't know, the rips, the rips actually aren't too bad. But dude, yeah, this thing, it's just, it's pure class. You gotta go with class on this thing. So we're gonna see, uh, we're gonna see what we can get done. The Enos Windsor drop. All right, so we're gonna, of course we're gonna put armor on it. If you're a retired man of the streets, it doesn't mean people aren't still trying to get you, you know what I mean? Um, let's go with the respray, primary color. We need something that just, screams class you know what I mean like I, I want like a nice cream I saw some whites in there I wasn't too I feel like it was a little bit too harsh you know what I mean or even a brown bison brown and then we're gonna go to our secondary color and we're gonna keep it real real suave and sleek I almost wish we could change the color of the interior, you know what I mean? And then the wood paneling kind of throws it off a little bit as well. Shoot, I didn't even think about that. That looks pretty good right there. Saddle brown. All right, we got a little two-tone brown going on. Roof color, we can change the color of that roof. We can't really see the roof right now. Uh, I'm gonna have to just guess. Um, I mean, we can't go wrong with like black, you know what I mean? Or should we just, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna guess Sandy Brown. We're gonna see how that turns out. We're gonna see if that ends up being a good one. All right, cool. So we're gonna go ahead and lower this bad boy. Um, put the race transmission in it. Put the turbo in it, make it a little bit quicker. Should we put some new wheels on there? I don't know if we should go with low rider. We should probably go high end. Ooh, those look kind of cool. A little bit different. I just like big, I wish they had bigger rims in this game, you know what I mean? The carbon fiber doesn't really look good. Uh, I might go with Heifer. I don't know, something a little bit different. All right, windows. Go ahead and limo them out. All right. There's our drop head, boys. I think it looks pretty good. Very, very, uh, oh, it's still not even that fast, though. Like, it's, it's, it's not a very good performance car. It's meant for looks. And it doesn't even, like, I'd rather, if I was choosing a car like that, I'd rather go with a lowrider, you know what I mean? Let's go ahead and put this, this roof back up. That doesn't look too bad. That actually looks pretty good. I don't, I don't think we, did a bad one. I wish, I, I think we could have gone lighter browns on the body to make it look a little bit better with the roof, but it's got a nice con, I don't know, maybe lighter browns would have been too much. I think it's got a nice contrast to it. I think it should have at least, at least maybe matched our, our secondary color though. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But anyway, we're going to be heading back. We've got three cars left, all of which are really awesome. Let's check out that F12. All right, guys, the Grotti Bestia. Oh yeah. This thing's quick, and we haven't done anything to it yet. If this thing is anything like the Ferrari F12, it's gonna be nuts. I'm pretty sure stock the F12 
has over 700 horsepower, which is nuts. Like, I've heard it's one of the tougher Ferraris to drive because it's got so much power and it's got so much speed, it's almost hard to control. Like, it's, it's a ridiculous amount. So, I'm excited to check this thing out and, uh, and give her a whirl. So, we're gonna head right over here, West Coast, or Los Santos, whatever you wanna call it. We've kinda, kinda wrecked it a couple times already. She feels good, though. She's quick, has that quick acceleration. It's also, it, it feels like it's pretty light in its feet, too. I think this is gonna be a, a solid sports car choice. That's crazy, it's only a sports car, too. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do full armor. Racing brakes. Ooh, we got bumper choices. Ooh, the drip bumper. It's got that carbon fiber on it. We're gonna put that engine in there. Uh, I like the stock dual exhaust better. Hood. I like the twin vented. Let's not go too crazy. Oh, actually, nah. I don't want to go too crazy. I don't I like it. Eh, it look good, especially because the top has that carbon fiber. But I don't want to go too crazy. All right, so we've got street skirts or carbon skirts. I feel like carbon skirts look a little bit better. Street skirts are cool, but they don't really match up with the back end. So we're gonna stick with carbon. Spoiler, I actually, I I'll do the low level. I don't like the mid level. Uh, suspension, we're gonna bring this bad boy down. Transmission, race, turbo, wheels. I actually don't mind those at all. Limo out the windows, look good to me. We probably could have changed up the color a little bit. Oh, we should do red, bro. I didn't even think about a respray. Let's do red. And it matched the calipers. Oh, dude, this, oh, <laughs> did you guys see that? I barely used the e-brake. This thing is quick. This is my favorite car so far. And it's only a sports car, and I don't think it was that, that expensive. So I, I think this is a solid choice if you're looking for a, uh, a, new, a new car. Now, what do we want to do? I almost, should we go crazy and do like a matte red just to mix it up a little bit? I like that. I think I like that over the gloss. Should we go for a darker red though to more match those calipers? I think so. Oh, dark red's taken. It's not available. Dang it. All right. That's all right. I like the light red better, I think, but I think the dark red would have matched the calipers better. That's why I was thinking of it. Could have put some neons in there, but it's a Ferrari. You don't want to put neons on a Ferrari, bro. That's that's tacky. Well, Holy cow, dude. Time. He said, son, you got two heads. One twenty Oh man, this thing feels fantastic. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna see how she does in speed. Let's check out inside. Oh! We're alright. We're hanging in there. Back outside, dude. This is sick. I'm actually really happy. This is my favorite purchase so far. The other ones were just kind of meh. I definitely think the drop head is a, a pass. Um, the big lifted van isn't too bad, I guess, and the armored vehicle isn't too bad. Those kind of have their their roles. But uh, this one's one that I think we're gonna have to do some races with this bad boy, and it's gonna be fun. We're gonna have to keep that in the back of our heads. What was this thing called again? The Grotti Bestia GTS. All right, look at this, boys. We're starting to look good. We got some color in here. Got a, a pack of Skittles. All right, next up, we're going to be taking out the Vapid FMJ, bro. Whew. It's got 458 taillights. Ah, actually, that's more of a 4GT back end. Definitely more of a 4GT back end. Front end's more of 4GT, too. All right, so this is this is based off the 4GT, without a doubt. So we're going we're gonna to make this thing blue. You have to, you know what I mean? It's the, you know, the, the natural color of Ford. Oh, dude, this thing looks sick. I love the placement of the exhaust right next to the tail lights when it like, fire flares. Oh, bro, sorry, I'm running red lights. I'm gonna be honest, as of right now, this thing is not that quick. Oh, dude, even the exhaust lights, uh, do you see the, the brake lights? Whoa, that's actually pretty sick. This thing is super aerodynamic. It's got those huge holes. It, it looks weird from the back end. Like it, it almost looks like fake. You know what I mean? Like it's like a concept car or something. It doesn't seem like a real car. What like the, the speed racer car? All right, let's get it, boys. I'm hoping. Well, right now it's not that it's slow. It's just not very good to control. I'm hoping once we get some of this tuning done, it's gonna gonna whip her up into shape a little bit. But we'll see what happens. This thing might just have too much. What's wrong with her now? You know what I mean? 
man, it's brand new. We already messed it up that much. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put everything on it. You guys know the deal. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So we got stock front bumper, primary color trim, which I really like, matte black trim, or carbon fiber trim. Carbon fiber. That's a beauty right there. All right, got that. Don't really need explosives. Respray. All right. I really like Matt in this game, and I don't know why. I don't know why that is. You know what I mean? There'd be a lot more options for blue in this this section. That's a good Ford GT blue. I think we might have to go with that. Or should we go with like, should we go with something crazy like pearlescent or metals? Oh my gosh, brushed gold? <laughs> oh, that'd be way too much. What about metallic blue? Oh, fire it up, boys. This actually might look pretty good. It's got a little bit of, of character to it. Whew. That is mean. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. All right. Secondary color. What are we changing on the secondary color? Oh, it's the, the calipers. I didn't even know you could do that. Let's go, boys. Is that a new update? I look really, really stupid now because I was trying to match the, the calipers on the Ferrari. Oh, well. That's all right. Cool. That looks fantastic. Roof. Scoop. Ooh. Secondary color GT scoop. Primary color GT scoop. Or the carbon fiber. I think we get to go for the carbon fiber, bro. Was there another option? No. Um, spoiler. I don't like any of those. Maybe this one. I don't like it. I'm going to keep it the way it is. Competition suspension. Put the tranny in there. Put the turbo in there. Wheels. I like the wheels on it. Windows. Should we limo them out? Let's go with the light smoke. I don't know. Like, I always tint the windows. It doesn't really matter, I guess. All right. Damn, bro. Are you kidding me? This thing is sexy. Oh, my gosh. It's still very, very light, though. Like, it's, it's hard to control, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it's kind of, it's all over the road. Like, look at that. I can't. <laughs> it's got so much power, it's hard to control. But I guess that's kind of what I, I, I don't know. It's, that's what a lot of these class of cars are. But then, like, take a look at our Bugatti. Like, we're, we've been happy with our Bugatti, you know what I mean? It's not really a with that but yeah this thing i mean if you're not going to be turning a lot and you're just going to be focusing on straights like at the airport or something like that or out in the desert this thing is going to be a monster god that is a good looking car bro all right last but not least boys we have our final 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 test and it's this a bad boy right here i'm so excited what is this the bagasi reaper i'm pretty sure that's what it was called Oh my gosh, uh, the back end looks a little bit fat, bro. It's like the Huracan got fat. I'm a little bit disappointed in that. You know what I mean? Like it's got like some chubby cheeks. Like I, I feel like an ant and I just want to go, go touch them. But dude, oh my gosh, the rims on it. Oh my goodness, bro. I don't know. So I have two, I have two ideas for directions to take with this. I think both of them are going to look good. I think I have to stick with yellow, though, just because yellow is like the typical Lambo color, you know what I mean? Like, I I feel like that would look... Oh, gosh, dude. It's even got, like, the black secondary. This is, just, this is a beautiful car. Especially when it's got blood all over the passenger fender. Honestly, it's not that quick, though. It's not nearly as quick as the uh, GT was. It's a lot heavier. It stays the road more. So this is going to be something better for a lot of turns where you want to go fast, but not too fast. All right. Pegasi Reaper. It's a super car. Here we go. So let's do let's do all of the all of these types of things first. 
Foreign lights. We aren't gonna respray yet. I'll go with that. That makes the back end look a little bit more aggressive, which I'm happy with. Wheels, I really like the wheels as they are. Windows, gotta black them out. All right, so we have two options here. What I'm thinking, let's, I really liked that metallic. Should we try like a metallic yellow? I think that could look dope. What's the interior? Oh, that would look good with the interior. It's a little bit more orange. I think that looks really, really good. Another option I was thinking of, I even like that with the red calipers. I, I think that looks good. Another option I was thinking of, oh, let's see what matte yellow looks like first. That looks sick too. Matte yellow looks insane. All right. What I was gonna do, what I was thinking of, is matte black with the secondary, I really like the look of this on cars and I hope it looks good. Um, in this game, oh no, secondary color. It's not changing. It's not changing the color of the calipers. You can't change the calipers on it, bro. Are you serious? I was gonna change it to lime green. I think lime green looks fantastic on matte black cars. And I just knew that was gonna look like, like just an insane Batmobile. But I think with the interior, with the kind of like yellow orangish, let's, um, let's go primary color, we'll go matte yellow. That's gonna look good. I wish we could change, well actually, can we change the interior color? Is that what secondary color is? Yeah. We'll go matte, but it doesn't change the interior of the seat. Weird. So some cars you can change the, the caliper color, other ones you can't. That kind of sucks. I wish we could have changed on that. But it's still a really good looking car. Let's see how she performs afterwards. Oh, it's a lot quicker now. It was, it was decent before, but it's a lot quicker now. And it's just heavier. It reminds me a lot of the, the Bugatti. Maybe even a little bit lighter than the Bugatti. But it's, it's, it's manageable, you know what I mean? It's not quite as, as extreme as that Ford GT was. So anyway, yeah, there you guys have it. Those are all of the new cars in this game. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, today we're going to be doing another GT Online episode. We are going to check out like the, the Warstock Cash and Carry Vehicle. We're going to check out the new jets, the new helicopters, that kind of thing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hope you guys will be around for that. And then uh, we'll kind of get into like the, the normal swing of things on this game. Like I can't wait to become a, a CEO and, uh, and really get things started. So wow, look at this garage, bro. Yellow, blue, and red. Holy cow. I think we, I think we made some good looking cars, bro. No joke. All right. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thumbs up if you guys are excited for the return of GT Online. Peace out.